Um, this started really fast, and went, as it started really fast, um, a lot of people stepped up to act, and that's, that's how a lot of this encampment started. And there were some challenges with that. There were some times when people just felt like they had to get together and make decisions, but sometimes when that happened it was hard for other people to understand why they were making decisions, or who was making decisions, or how they could be involved. And um, I think we all recognize that if this is going to grow, if this is going to become the movement that it needs to be, it's going to take all of us growing into more and more leadership. All of us having more and more power over our lives. Does that sound right? Yeah. So the proposal that came a couple of nights ago was about empowering the committee structure. You all know about the committees? You all, the committees, they meet, all meet here together to coordinate at 5 o'clock every day. There's many different committees focusing on many things, very important things. And we want to empower those committees explicitly to say, these are doing work for us and we want everyone to know that you can be part of them, that they're accountable to us, that what they do is transparent, and that their decisions are ones that we can feed back to and know how to feed back to. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the proposal is to figure out exactly how that's going to work. How are the committees going to be open to new people? When are there sensitive issues that there needs, the committees need to, be, um, need to have some trust within that committee and how are we going to do that? So if you're interested in that, we're going to be meeting tomorrow at 11.30 to further refine the proposal. Tomorrow right here, Terry Shrunk at 11.30. Thanks. Thank you, Brush. Do we have any more announcements for new proposals? Uh, hi, my name is Aubrey, and I just... Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I just really think that a lot of eyes are on us right now, so I think that there should possibly be a proposal, um, just given what happened earlier tonight, uh, there should probably be a proposal about um, nonviolence training and uh, having someone start nonviolence trainings and having um, ones where interested people who are interested can attend and that we can um, encourage more people to attend those. Yes. Okay, thank you. To clarify, um, this is the space to announce proposals that have been developed and will be brought to the General Assembly at a future date. Um, Sorry, everyone. Not so much for proposals that should be developed, but I agree with you that um, de-escalation training is important. Do we have any more proposals that have been developed that will be brought to the General Assembly at a future date? Yes. Hi. Um, I've got a proposal um, which I would like to have discussed tomorrow night. Uh, the, the what of the proposal is that Occupy Portland endorse and publicize using its social media resources the Occupy March and Rally for Good Jobs and No Cuts Portland to Vancouver event, which will take place this Saturday, October 22nd, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, the why, there's a uh, and the proposal that's in the the information tent, there's a, a Facebook link there um, for, for that event. Um, the why is that this action connects the growing Occupy movement to the labor to labor activists in both Portland and Vancouver. It helps build the emerging Occupy Vancouver movement and connects us to the part of Metro Portland that's in Washington State. The central demand to put jobs and defending the safety net for the people ahead of tax cuts for the wealthy fits core Occupy Portland values. The how of this proposal would be, um, or the implementation would be publicize the endorsement and event information using the Occupy Portland social media and web as the main steps with possible further mobilization development in consultation with the, the action committee. Yeah. Great, thank you. How's everybody feeling? Cool. Um, is there any more proposals that have been developed? Yeah, come on up. Okay, so we have two uh, proposal announcements from the Action Committee about uh, actions. 
that we are proposing that we might take. Yeah, people who want to do some direct action. Um, so the first one is a uh, student walkout on Wednesday the 26th uh, with marches down here from the various universities and schools. Um, at, starting at 6 p.m., is that correct? No, 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 that's not right. no, no time yet. We're working on the details on that one. We'll, again, these will be proposals that we will announce at the next General Assembly. Good to see some wavy fingers. Um, the next action is one that I announced kind of earlier as part of the uh, committee announcements. I slipped it in there. That was against process. Sorry, facilitator. Um, and that is is that uh, the Action Committee is planning a, a costume zombie ghoul march um, to end at the Wells Fargo Tower, where we will have a sit-in to protest uh, the bank and their greedy bailouts. Um, anyway, so that and that's going to happen October 31st on Halloween. Yeah. Um, bring your zombie ghoul costume masks, whatever you got. Um, just we're trying to get some media attention, obviously, for the movement, and also have some actual direct action against uh, the people responsible for this. We are going to bring the details of that proposal uh, tomorrow, so we are still working on a route and the actual times and so forth. I have a question. Will the march for the schools Will the march for the schools include youth? Is that your question? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll sign notes for my kids. Nice. Great, thank you. Okay, are there any more proposals that will be brought to future General Assemblies? Yes. I have an announcement and proposal. Uh, tomorrow night I will be camping outside of the steps of a large bank entity really close to us. Uh, that is my announcement. Uh, my proposal is we spend a couple minutes discussing that at tomorrow night's G8 and see if anyone is with me. With me or not, I'm doing this. Thank you. Sweet, thank you. Okay, are there any more proposals that will be brought to future General Assemblies? Is that what you have? Okay, come on up. In order for this proposal to really make sense, I'm going to say real quick, um, on a, on a plant-strong, raw, and superfoods diet, I lost 215 pounds and completely wiped out 20 states of disease, including diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all that, all in one year. My proposal is that we create a committee, an action committee, uh, a task force that goes primarily with the intention to get to Portland Public Schools to change the foods and make a plant-strong, um, organic produce, raw or vegan, um, or what I call high vibrational foods available to kids to stop childhood obesity um, and all the things that come with that, especially disease. I'd be happy to spearhead that committee. Um, I have a proposal about the what and the why. I'm proof that changing what you eat changes who you are. Um, so that's what I'm committed to and that's what I propose. I'm also doing a film project that's going to the Sundance Film Festival and that so we could use that for leverage to get media attention on it too. Great, thank you. Are there any more proposals that will be brought to future General Assemblies? Yes? No? Any more? Going once? Uh, yeah. I got one. Okay. Um, he's right there. Go ahead. My name is Craig Keeper and I'm here. I really want to put out a good proposal right now and this is all to all of you folks in the future. Very much so, hey, we only got one chance at this whole thing and it's called life. Let's all just have a good time, let's live it to our fullest, and have a good night. And that's all future. Thank you. Yeah. Let's hope we can consent on that one. <laughs> Already having a good time, baby. Sorry, my kid. Any more announcements of future proposals for future General Assemblies? Going once. Going twice. All right. It's now time to move on to the second proposal that is being brought to this General Assembly. So is the individual bringing this proposal present right now? He is. He is. Here you go. All right. Hello, everybody. Thank you for still being here. Um, this is actually somewhat important. Um, this is a proposal for uh, park maintenance and restoration. Um, the goal here is to assist in returning the parks that we occupy to their pre-occupation state should we ever choose to leave. The concept here is leave no trace. Um, 
So there's two parts to this proposal. Um, basically, our community is fighting against corporations who simply throw money at problems to make them go away. Therefore, the two aspects to this proposal are both money and labor. Um, we will form a working group to establish a list of people willing to donate their time and labor to park restoration. This group will reach out to the community at large, seeking experts who can guide us in maintaining this space while we're here and restoring this space when we leave. Second um, is establishing a fund. The finance committee is in the process of establishing a not-for-profit. Um, my understanding is that they hope to have this addressed by the end of day tomorrow. Their point of contact voiced strong support for the concept of a parks fund um, and sounds ready to support this. This would basically be a separate way that people could donate specifically for funds to restore this park when we leave. Um, a little bit of context, uh, today there was actually a letter from the city saying that um, they tally our damages, uh, I believe it said $19,000 to the grounds. Uh, so just as an FYI about what we're talking about. Um, transparency with this fund is the key. Um, being able to see the funds tracked and raised will be critical to this. Um, the Finance com Committee um, should be able to provide regular updates to the GA and via the website on the status of this fund. Um, just a couple of specifics here. Disbursements from the fund before we leave must be approved by the GA and must be intended for the maintenance and restoration of the park. So this fund can't be used to just buy new tents or to buy food for the camp. It's specifically for these parks that we're occupying. Um, after we're done with our labor um, of restoring the parks, um, the money is intended to help finish the restoration. That money would go to the parks fund. Uh, I'm sorry, the money of the parks fund would go to the city of Portland's parks department or to a third party that's mutually agreeable to the parks department and to the GA. Um, the remainder, if there is any, after the restoration, um, would revert to the GA's general fund or optionally a charity. The R2D2 charity is a great one that's similar to the state that we're in or Friends of Forest Park. This could be determined at a later GA. It doesn't have to be determined tonight. Um, the idea with this fund is that it could be closed anytime uh, to future contributions by the consensus of the GA, but again, the money in this particular fund should only be used for the purposes of maintaining and restoring the parks. Um, so, uh, the determination of how much it costs to restore the park is not currently in this proposal. Obviously, the city said something. Before we disperse funds, it's probably important to use some of the experts during this outreach to try to get some um, alternative numbers and uh, idea of how much this would actually cost. Um, so I have an, uh, sort of an option that's uh, for the friendly amendment uh, phase, and um, I, I'll leave it to them, and, and we can just uh, move into the rest. Okay, thank you for bringing that. Um, this one sounds pretty good, and I'm going to guide us through it, and let's hope that we can decide on this. 